assalamu alaikum hello students today we have to solve problem number 2.10 of electrodynamics fourth edition by david g griffiths in this problem we have been given a cube and a charge q placed at its back corner and we have been asked to find electric flux through this shaded face how can we do that first of all let's see a case in which a charge q is placed at the center of the cube charge q is placed at the center of the body of the whole cube now if we want to find electric flux through any of its six faces then that electric flux will be equal to 1 by 6 q by epsilon not by using gauss's law by using gauss's law but the question arises that why did we divide this quantity q by epsilon not by 6 the simple answer is that gauss's law provides us electric flux through any closed surface now here in this case the closed surface is our cube so if we apply gauss's law here then q by epsilon not will provide flux through complete cube it will provide flux through complete cube because here in this case this cube is our closed surface that's why gauss's law provide provides in this case the flux through our complete cube but if we want to find the flux through any of its six faces then definitely it's pretty clear that our cube has been divided into six faces so if we want to find flux through any of its six faces then we will have to divide this quantity by 6 to find flux through any of its six faces so flux through any face will be equal to 1 by 6 q by epsilon not okay let's let's say this is our face across which we have found here flux so this is the flux across this face now if we want to find flux through this face then we cannot apply the same concept here why because these two cases are different but how here you can see it's pretty clear that the charge sits at exactly center of the body but here the charge is not placed at the center of the body but placed at its one of its corners that's why we cannot apply this concept here then what should we do we can apply a simple trick here we can put a cube here then here then here and similarly for four other cubes four more cubes at its back end and by doing this we get the arrangement something like this now it's clear that our charge q our charge q is exactly at the center of the body of this large cube now we can apply that concept here so by using that concept once again flux through any face flux through any of its six faces flux through any of its six faces of this large cube will be equal to again 1 by 6 into q by epsilon not but we we have not been asked to find the flux through Uh, any of the any of the faces of this larger cube we have been asked to find the flux through one of the faces of this smaller cube that means we have to find the flux through through this shaded portion now it's pretty clear that this complete right face this complete right face has been divided into four sub faces so if we want to find the flux through this shaded portion we will have to divide this quantity by 4 okay this is the flux through right face and flux through any of the face but specifically we can say that this is the flux through right face this larger right face okay and this larger right face has been divided into four sub faces so the flux through that shaded portion this shaded portion the flux through that shaded portion will definitely be equal to 1 by 4 into q by 6 epsilon not and then it comes out to be it comes out to be q by 
24 epsilon naught. So the flux, our required flux through this shaded portion is Q by 24 epsilon naught. Okay, hope it's clear. In the next, <coughs> in the next uh, video, we will, we will be doing problem number 2.11. Goodbye.